But the drama started even before the protesters hit the streets today. Some of the Ferguson protesters tried to check into a Middleburg Heights hotel, and a woman who was working there got arrested. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin found she's already been fired and charged with assault. A group from Ferguson, Missouri arrived at this Motel 6 in Middleburg Heights around 3 a.m. Charles Wade said there was a mix-up with his online reservation and no rooms were booked. When he told management he would not stand for this, well, the fireworks started. From there, uh, she started to engage with us in a belligerent fashion and I asked her if she was drunk. Um, and then things went left. She is 42-year-old Angela Kozinski Brown. In the police report, cops say, quote, it was obvious she was intoxicated. Wade said the Motel 6 employee began throwing racial slurs at him and his friends. She was just saying, F you f***ing and you b***ing, f*** your black husband b***ing, um, you don't want this to do this, I don't give a about this job, and it was pretty intense. So intense, they say Kaczynski Brown came from behind the counter and assaulted four people. Wade said she first hit a white woman who was married to a black man. So she got in the white woman's face first, you know, shook her, and then I got in the middle and she pushed me, and then she went for the woman with the camera while the other lady was pulling her back. She hit her in the face and tried to knock the camera out of her hand. In 2005 and 6, court records show Kaczynski Brown pleaded guilty to drug possession and possession of criminal tools. For Wade and his group, this is an experience he says he won't soon forget. And I've never encountered that level of belligerence from anybody. Wade and his friends recorded the entire incident on their cell phones, although they wouldn't show us because they say they're considering filing a lawsuit. On your side, I'm Michael Baldwin. News Channel 5.